Wow, a Cooper's hawk just came flying over when they hear the bird's noise. He was curious, but also he might want food. Who knows? He was gorgeous. Hello, you guys looking for the bird, right? Here's where the owners live and they have a cage out. Let's go say hi. I'm seeing the cage. There's the cage. Here's the cage. Here. Oh, that's his cage. Oh, let's knock on the door. They have no ring bell. That your African grey bird, right? That got lost? Yeah. yeah, we are helping you to look for bird. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know any um, sighting or any He's information? My son. He has the information. Oh, is he here, your son? No, he's not. He's working. Oh, he's working. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So I, I have also African grey. Mm -hmm. So, and then it was windy, storm, snow. Yeah. So I felt so bad for the bird. Yeah. Um, let me see. Oh, I put his cage outside. Missing bird. Missing bird. But also food outside, look, all rained on. Yeah. I don't know if he leveled the paper. There's yeah, paper I saw the paper all yeah, over the street, so. Yeah, so we, we've been looking for it. We saw it on the next door app. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they haven't looked over. No. They yeah, we're still looking today, but yesterday was a storm, so uh -huh. yeah, maybe it pushed him that. away. I don't know. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I didn't know him with you. Okay, yeah. tell him we were here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye. That was the dad from the owner whose bird went missing, so. Is the predator still on the... So this is the map. We are looking for the lost bird. I am going everything over and over again. 
so we search again for uh, one and a half hours. My battery from my Sacre is again gone. I have to go home to charge it, feed these guys, and I'll be back out here. The sighting was false. There was no bird here. If a bird would be here, he would be calling out, and he didn't. So that was a false sighting. He wasn't in Hammett and Summit. So I'm going to continue with my map search. All right, we're heading now home. Beautiful bird. He just came flying over. He's a hawk. It's a Cooper's hawk. Hearing the bird? It's so pretty. Hi, Cooper's hawk. Wow. <laughs> wow, a Cooper's hawk just came flying over when they hear the bird's noise. He was curious, but also he might want food. Who knows? He was gorgeous, a little Cooper's hawk. Beautiful bird. Also guys, there's another bird missing here. Her name is Penny. It's a female green cheek con here. So whoever I find first, Penny or Kevin. Oh, I'm looking for birds, lost birds. Looking for Kevin is like looking like for a needle in a haystack. Where should we look? Did, did you guys saw a bird? Uh, you it? Yeah, African Grey. There's flyers all over the place though. Really? Yeah, if you see it, it's on next door. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Alright, we are back out looking for Kevin, the lost bird. Today is day 7, evening. We were out all day this morning, took a little break, did my taxes, came back looking. Wait, love, love is with me now. Kevin! Come on. Kevin! <laughs> Hello. Wow, guys, look at the sunset. Okay, this is day seven. We have not found him yet. It's getting dark, sun just sets. Love is amazing. He was such a good bird, but I'm pretty sore from standing on the Sackway. This is hard work searching a bird. Anyway, we're heading now back to my car. Uh, we've been searching again for another like 90 minutes. 90 minutes, hi. Thank you. So while we're going back to my car, I'm just gonna just call out. change my tone. Kevin! More lower. <laughs> Out of the diaphragm. Kevin! Is it open? Kevin! 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 I think that sounds better. Kevin! So I got notice uh, that somebody this morning saw him apparently in the neighborhood. And then I went down there, no sounds. And yesterday was a big storm that was before the storm. And then I asked the owner, hey, when they called in, did they saw if the bird has a red tail or was it a pigeon? And they says, um, no, this bird was barking and it was a very smart gray bird. But I don't know if it's a true because if he would be here, he would be barking at me. Nobody's barking at me except dogs. No bird is barking at me. Um, I was looking for your bird and I saw in next door that uh, I think your girlfriend commented that somebody saw him at Raym, Harmond and Summit. Um, yeah, that's, that's my sister. Oh, but that yeah, was your sister. Yeah, but supposedly, yeah, someone saw him at, uh, 
two days ago, before the storm. Yesterday was the storm. Yeah, yeah because uh, I've been looking for him, and there's no sound, nothing. I don't know if he really, they really saw him because if if they would have saw him, would did they saw the red tail? They yeah, they said they did actually. So he was flying like like low between the streets. Oh. And yeah, they, they she said that she clearly saw him all gray with a red tail, and it was unusual because it was just one pair versus usually, usually all the green ones are in, in a flock, but yeah, this one was just by himself. Hmm. And he was flying from tree to tree, tree, but not the tall ones, just the small ones on the sidewalk. Uh, he's probably coming down low to look for food, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And just more people see him or just this one person? So two people supposedly saw him around that area. The second one was at uh, Raymond. But this was before uh, the one that saw her on the, on the street. And she said that she, yeah, she actually saw him and he was actually barking like a little dog. And, yeah, and we were like, oh, well, like, why didn't you call us or something? Yeah. But people like are, are careless, I guess. They, they just see him, they don't really care. Yeah, I was today at your house and I saw your dad. He Did he tell you? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah, we were actually talking about that right now. Oh, yeah, because, you know, I've been looking for mornings and evenings after work. And um, no sounds. I didn't see him. I went even to Raymond, uh, Hammond and Summit three times. And no, he's not there. Nothing. Yeah, because right now, also today in the morning, like around seven, so the I don't know if you saw that um, big house at the corner at Garfield and Adina. Uh-huh. Like, we, yeah, the owner called us this morning. He said that he, he said that he thought he saw him. He oh, said yeah. he saw he saw a parrot, a, a lonely parrot at, uh, above a tree. Maybe it's a pigeon. There's so many pigeons. And yeah, there's a lot of pigeons. As well, I saw a lot of pigeons, but they just sit all over the place. And sometimes I even thought it's him, but then I don't see a red tail. And there's they're yeah. just like monotone. They don't do anything. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not giving up. I still hope, hope for them. I'll find it soon. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Because it's been almost two weeks now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's been two weeks, actually, Two weeks. This coming Saturday will be two weeks. I mean, at this point, I'm really hoping at least someone has them. And yeah, hopefully they see the reward that we're giving them. Maybe. Yeah, people will, more people That'll will motivate help. them. Yeah, to get them. Yeah, I um asked my friends, uh, parrot friends, and they say they lost also the African Grey. And they says because he was never also never clipped and he was really a good flyer, they found him eight miles away. Uh, he was in a local park and a cop, they called the cops and the cops called I think, uh, humane society and they found and they could locate the owner. Oh, okay. I was like, wow, eight miles. It's really far away from home. Do you think he'll go to Rosebowl? Do you think he'll cross? Do you think he'll fly towards Rose Bowl? Rose Bowl. Yeah. Uh, it's could after be, uh, Yeah, he could be anywhere because, you know, like... But then if he will be in Rose Bowl, he will make noise and more people will saw, see him and post a sighting. And there's no sighting posts anywhere. Yeah, so if my bird gets lost, they post it on, like... Um, you know, like, like on Facebook groups and stuff like that. Yeah, because it's also a bigger bird, right? Yeah. But I'm hopeful. Hopefully, hopefully someone has them. And I'm I'm just hoping that they haven't seen the flyers, even though they're everywhere. Yeah. But and if that's not... But yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if somebody has them. Because then somebody will bring him back already. Because once you find a bird, people always look for the owner. Unless they want to keep him, you know? Um, and and then they will look for the owner, and if they really want, they will find you guys because that's the only bird African grey that's missing in Pasadena. Yeah. You know. So um, 
I don't think somebody has him yet. I think he's flying around still somewhere, but I don't know where. And I thought he was in your neighborhood, but I already look all over the neighborhood and I can't. You can't see. find him. I don't hear him. I have. I took take my bird with me on my shoulder too, and you know, and I have uh, my from my African Grey also sound recording that I take with, and I play mm -hmm. while I'm looking, and calling him and no sounds. No, usually when a bird, a uh, pet bird, her other pet birds um, sound, they will respond. Yeah, because I, I even take, like, yeah, we even take our little ones also. Like, he had, he has one, the lorikey. Yeah. So that's his friend. So we usually take her, like, when we walk around, hopefully, like, if they could hear each other. Yeah, but don't lose the lorikey. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. She's in a backpack, like... Oh, okay. one of those bird back backpacks okay cool yeah um that's good but usually he should be making sounds yeah and that's the thing though we don't we don't we don't we, don't, we can't hear anything exactly like, like you we, we just can't like don't don't get me wrong we have been getting a lot of calls that supposedly someone sees them but yeah but after at the second that we get there like yeah we don't we don't see anything. We don't hear anything. Exactly. So if he would be in an area, people would have made pictures and posted on next door and would tell you about the the bird. There's a bird flying around sightings. There must be sightings and there's no sightings. I think the storm is what did something. Maybe he made him fly a whole different route or something because it was really bad. The storm was really bad, yeah, last night. That's true. It was really cold, really, really windy, like 20 miles per hour. Gosh, it was really a bad storm. Today when I was, like, walking around, I saw trees was falling. Two trees fall down on houses. But, yeah, I definitely need to train the ones that we have because, yeah, I don't want this to happen again. Yeah. But as for Kevin, I mean, yeah, I think our best option at this point is to expand our our search more than yeah. beyond Pepe, pretty much. Yeah, because honestly, I've been looking for him over 10 hours this whole week. And except the three days when it was raining in the storm. But even in last um, yesterday morning, I've been looking for him, um, you know. And yes, it was, we... even before the storm, it was so silent. And I have a map and I go from street to street with my Segway. And with my bird on my shoulder and calling him, it it was silent. There is no sound whatsoever in the neighborhood, even before the storm. Yeah. No, yeah, I believe you because, yeah, we've been walking those streets and, yeah, we don't hear anything. Yeah, and I've been logging everywhere where I went with markers and I have a map, you know, so I know exactly which streets I go and there is no sound. So I think he might be not in the neighborhood anymore. He might be further away. Either that or someone else. Either that or somebody take him or yeah. or if he's not smart enough, a hawk could have caught him. Because today, what was also interesting this morning when I was going out looking for him around the Lincoln area, the freeway, I played the sounds from my birds. And all of a sudden, this Cooper's hawk came swooping on me really fast. And then he in front of me, he just landed on a fence watching me and listening to the sounds of my recording, the bird sounds. He was very oh. curious. It was a beautiful Cooper's hawk. And then, you know, I filmed him and then he just looked at me and he was really curious about the sound. And then he took off. But he was as big as an African gray. He was like, not a big hawk. It was like the size of an African gray. He was beautiful. Well, I hope that's the case to be honest. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I my honest guess is that he's not in the neighborhood anymore. I really believe that he might have flown further out, or somebody already got him. The first three days is really crucial. But if there's no sighting in the first three days and nobody posts about him, hey, uh, I see a bird on the fence landing here. Whose bird is it? Or uh, that means. Somebody already got him and is silent about it and want to keep him. Or um, he's further out. Or he's dead. 
one of those three options? Oh, I hope it's one of the first two options, to be honest. <laughs> I know, it's tough. But yeah. Yeah, but as long as, I don't know, I, I can't get what you feel like. I gotta switch to. Yeah, yeah. So um, I won't give up either. I, I'm going to continue searching too. But what I'm saying is, might uh, expand, yeah, expand the search. Yeah, um, definitely. He might be even in another city or, you know, not in Pasadena anymore. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I think that's going to be the, my next option then. Just go to the next cities around us. Yeah. No, but we know our Kevin. That's right. We know details that not other people know so we we're leaving those details out just in case if they do start posting a different bird like we know how to tell if it's ours or not but okay uh i gotta let you go uh thank you for the advice thank you for still searching yeah and you're yeah welcome. we'll still keep looking i know yeah um good luck okay thank you so much Alrighty. bye bye all right then good night good night bye